Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is a mashup of so many things. I'll be sharing all of our meals for the day, and I'll also be organizing and cleaning because we decided to switch around the boys' room with the schoolroom. So we'll call this video part full day of meals, part clean and organize with me, and part day in the life vlog. I think that about covers it. So if any of those sound good to you, I hope you'll stick around and enjoy the video and hit that subscribe button. Now let's get to this super busy day. I started off the morning making a big pitcher of iced tea. I usually buy the tagless tea bags. It bugs me to open them all and remove all the tags, but these will do just fine. Also, if you hear some noise in the background, Tucker is coloring and wrinkling around some paper. So with the tea bags, I just tie them all together and get them heating up in a pot of water. On this morning, the boys wanted their favorite oatmeal with PB&J. I just use the old-fashioned oats that cook for five minutes, and when they're almost done, I add in a big spoonful of peanut butter, and they get extra creamy and gooey. When I serve the oatmeal, I add a spoonful of grape jam and a splash of half and half. And I always make a mess while doing it. And the boys also wanted some applesauce and grape juice. You needed seconds, huh? Let me start up. I just want to take the applesauce. Hold your plate still. The, the applesauce is still in it. Peanut butter jelly oatmeal. Is it yummy? Love it. Yeah. Love it. Let me see your new big boy tooth. It's coming. Yay. Your first grown up tooth. You gotta take really good care of it, right? A grown up tooth? A grown up tooth. A big one. Now we just need the other three to come in, huh? So you can eat apples like normal? Yeah. <laughs> and while the boys are eating, I'm just finishing up my tea. And speaking of tea, I was excited to finally get my November Sip Spy box today in the mail. If you don't know about Sip Spy, it's a monthly subscription box where you get four new teas to try every month and it's personalized just for you. And I like that they always include a card that tells you more about each tea in the box. You get a reusable tea bag as well as disposable ones if there's any loose leaf tea in your box. And this month's box also came with a $15 gift card to share with a friend.
The first tea I got this month is this Supreme Matcha Green Tea. I might have to make a copycat green tea frappuccino with this one. I also got some eucalyptus throat coat tea. This will be good in the winter months if we happen to catch a cold or something. Next is minty mojito mate. This one sounds so good. And the last one is this holiday pumpkin pie tea. I'm not a huge pumpkin fan, but this could be good. It also has pumpkin shaped sprinkles. If you guys are interested in trying out Sip Spy, I'll have the link down in my description box as well as a code to save $5 off your first box. And as a little mini giveaway for all of my YouTube friends, leave this down in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll randomly pick someone to send this gift card to. Adam grabbed some things we were out of on his way home from work, so I need to get this stuff put away before I get to cleaning again. We have some veggie juice for our dinner tonight, some toilet paper, some instant rice that's also for dinner, dishwasher soap and some wipes. some shredded cabbage for dinner, and some more apples for the boys. Okay, ew. This was in the bag of apples. That's disgusting. So about two months ago, I shared our schoolroom tour, and this is what it looked like. About a month ago, I rearranged the boys' room to look like this. We decided that we spent so much time in the schoolroom that we needed some more space. I also wanted my desk in there to get it out of the living room to make more room for the Christmas tree, so we switched rooms. This was the state of the boys' new room last night. They went to bed with Daddy while I tried to get some more work done in here. And don't worry, those cubby shelves are anchored into the studs. They're not going anywhere. So I just wanted to get a little more done. I didn't film at all because I was so tired from moving stuff around all day. And this is what the room looked like this morning. We still need to hang up the pet net and take down the stuff on the ceiling, but other than that, it's about finished. I'll change his clothes. You can change his clothes? Show me how. Do you love your new chase? Well, show me how you do it. Think you did? Need some help? Did it? Yes, Wally, we love you too. Hey! 
Are you so happy Grandpa brought you a new chase because you lost your other one? Uh, you like What? Is it glowing? It's on there. You've just done it so many times it's getting loose already. Y'all like playing in your new room? Yeah. Yay. We just gotta get the stuffed animals done, right? Yeah. The schoolroom, on the other hand, oh my goodness. I still have a lot of stuff to finish up in here, including switching out the closets, which the boys wanted to help with. We took a quick break for lunch and we just threw some chicken nuggets and curly fries into the air fryer. And here's how the boys room turned out when it was all done. They have their Lego table and their Duplo Legos on this side. And all of the cubbies full of toys. We'll clean these out to get rid of a few things another day. Here's all of their stuffed animal friends. I don't know what it is with these boys and stuffed animals. Their favorites are down on the bed. Inside the closet door, we still have the shoe organizer full of socks, underwear, swimsuits, and that kind of thing. On the shelf, there are all the tiny Legos and some Skylanders. This bin is full of all of their blankets and some sheets. There's some more Legos. I hung their tents up in the back and the hanging clothes are their sweaters, jackets, and colored shirts that I didn't want to fold. And back here in the corner is the big blow up slide and bouncy house. We moved our dresser into their closet. The top has all of their PJs. Then Tucker's shirts, Tucker's pants, and some random socks they snuck in there. Then we have Garrett's shirts and Garrett's pants and fuzzy PJs. He recently outgrew most of his pants, so we need to get him a few more pairs. Tuck has a lot because they were all hand-me-downs. And now we're going to get started on dinner. Tonight we made a sort of unstuffed cabbage roll. We started out with our meatballs. We have some crushed Ritz crackers in here and some instant rice. Then we seasoned it with some oregano, basil, parsley, onion powder, seasoned salt, salt and pepper, and minced garlic. Then we added in some Worcestershire and some yellow mustard, one egg, and our pound of ground beef, and mixed it all together. Mm -hmm. 
in our pot we have some veggie juice, a can of tomato sauce that has garlic, basil, and oregano in it, and some salt and pepper. We just browned our meatballs on all sides, then added them into the sauce and added a splash of half and half. What's dad making? I don't know. Yeah, you do. What's dad making? Uh, meatballs. Meatballs? Yeah. While those were simmering, I sauteed some shredded cabbage with some butter, salt and pepper, and seasoned salt. We topped off our meatballs with our sautéed cabbage and some Parmesan cheese. This was such a delicious dinner. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, I'd love for you to join our YouTube family. So make sure you click that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications. And we'll see you guys next time.